This video covers simple and quick edits to your notes templates. There are two ways to start editing a template. You can do so directly from the template menu options on your dashboard or by going to edit templates on your sidebar and then clicking the template. Common changes that we see being made are the removal or rearrangement of lines based on your workflow. Deleting lines is very simple. Hover over the line and click to delete. You can similarly rearrange most lines within or between sections. Hover over any native line and click the plus button at the end to create a new line directly beneath it. The left sidebar shows you different types of blocks, such as sections, texts, or buttons. They can be dragged into your template. Quickly identify blocks within lines by hovering over one until it's outlined in blue. To open the menu for an individual block, click the three dots at the end. From this menu, you can make changes to the block in question, for example, deleting or duplicating the block. From the same menu, you can pick the type of block that you want to add next, for example, a button or text block. Changing text or button options is also common. To change the text and text block, simply click into it and start typing. You can create a line header by making the text in the first text block bold. To do this, add a colon or a question mark to the end of the text in that first block. Any subsequent text blocks, even after buttons, will not be bold. To change the options in a button, simply click into it. This opens the buttons options in the left sidebar. Here you can amend, add or delete options. You can also change the type of button. We recommend leaving other as an option. You may have noticed that some blocks have a pink background and are accompanied by a lightning symbol. These are universal blocks. We'll cover them in more detail elsewhere, but universal blocks can be created from scratch or converted from existing blocks. Universal blocks are blocks that can be reused between templates. Regardless of which templates they are used in, you will only need to update them from one place, rather than from each individual template. Linked lines make taking notes with Kuroku speedy and they add richness to your note taking. To create or edit a linked line, we need to understand how they work. Linked lines are triggered by the click of a button. You'll also need to create the line that you want to appear, only then can you link the two together. Any button that acts as a trigger has an icon link within it. Any line created by the click of a button has an icon link within a blue circle on the left side. Let's quickly create a linked line. To do so, click the checkbox next to the line that you want to appear. Then click on the button that you want to trigger that line. Create a link to one or many of the button options. Hover over the blue circle to see the source of that linked line. It tells you the name of the section and the button option that this line is triggered from. Click into the icon to make changes to this linked line. The sidebar will tell you more detail about the link's origins. You can click the button option to be taken to its location in your template. To remove the link between the line and the trigger button option, click the three dot menu and remove. Along the top of the note writing screen, there are options that will help make template editing easier. They include the ability to preview your template as you make changes and also the ability to revert back to previous versions of your templates. Any changes that you make to a template will be automatically saved, but you can also actively save changes.